Coronavirus and reopening Missouri is top of mind this week after viral videos showing people at crowded parties over the weekend in the Ozarks. And tonight, Fox 2 sat down with Governor Mike Parson to talk about the state's response to COVID-19. Fox 2's Michelle Medeiros joining us live tonight with the highlights from that big conversation. Michelle. The governor talked about everything from education to the state's budget and health care, but he started off by addressing some internationally viral videos that show people completely ignoring social distancing guidelines at Lake of the Ozarks parties over this Memorial Day weekend. Terribly unfortunate that that happened at Lake of the Ozarks. It's not something we want to be known in Missouri for. A negative note to start off the sit down with Missouri Governor Mike Parson addressing viral videos from Lake of the Ozarks on Memorial Day weekend show people ignoring social distancing guidelines. He says the whole state should not be branded for what a few did, yet there's no way to justify it. Well, they've got to make that decision on their local levels what they want to do and, and what they can do to probably curve that from happening what again. What if they choose I not that, to do anything? Well, if they choose not to do that, they've got elected officials in those local areas that make those decisions. He says it's everyone's personal responsibility to do what makes them feel safe, and that includes wearing masks or not if they so choose. But he admits his administration should have done more to support the health of the African American community well before they were disproportionately impacted by the coronavirus. Well, first thing you gotta realize, we wasn't doing enough before the virus got here. We wasn't taking care of the African community like we should on the health care issues they should be having and that they should have got during that time. With close to 400,000 people now out of work in Missouri, he says all sectors will see an impact, including his own administration. Just going to have to take a bite of the apple here, and that, that doesn't leave anybody out, the governor's office included. We'll have to make some change. We'll have to do some furloughs. Funding could also be a concern for the state's education system. Meanwhile, leaders are trying to minimize the impact of students missing out on almost a semester in the classroom. So they're putting together a new task force. We launched our, our task force where we're bringing people together to say uh, three different groups coming together to really think about what are the key, key standards that every child should know to be able to move to the next level. Many superintendents have not made up their mind about starting school in the fall, but they have, hope to have a decision formally made by mid-July. Now, there are many other topics touched on in tonight's conversation with the governor. For the full interview in its entirety, you can check out our website at fox2now.com or our mobile app. Live tonight downtown, Michelle Madaris, Fox 2 News.